Amen. And what comes out of your mouth is a representative of Jesus will show it. How much you've grown and what you've learned through the Word of God. Or who's been teaching you or what you've been listening to. Because this is what teaches us. The unadulterated, out no theology, whatever comes out of that book is what teaches us. Yes. Right here. And the Holy Spirit is our teacher. Amen. Yes. Amen. That's the teacher. Not some human being that people worship. Right. Amen. People worship churches and pastors. Look, don't worship me because I ain't nothing without Christ. Worship Him. Amen. Amen. God's just using me as the vessel. I ain't, I'm worse than you. Paul said he was the chief sinner. He was the sinner of all sinners, and he wrote 13 epistles of the Bible. That's how humble he was. Are you humble enough to admit, I'm nothing without Christ, and I need him every day? Amen. And whatever comes out of my mouth is going to represent him today, and I'm going to make that choice and decision to do it. <coughs> and God's going to give me the grace to do it. Amen. Which is, the grace means the power to do it. Okay? Grace is power. Amen. Because where sin abounded, grace much more abounded. Which is trying to say, my grace is much stronger than your sin. Amen. So don't take it the wrong way. Or take it out of context like people love to do. Grace is the power to overcome your sinful nature. Amen. Think about that as you're driving out of here. God gives me a lot of grace because I need it. And you know what? You should come to the point where you hate your sin nature. Mm -hmm. Because if you're still liking it, you're going to use it. I got quiet. Mm -hmm. I yeah. love the Word of God. Because it makes us cut. I'm cutting right through, right to the heart. Right to the heart of the matter, which is what? Me. You. Look in the mirror. It's me. I can blame all kinds of issues and what happened in my life, but it's ultimately me is where I am today. My choices and decisions. All right, let's go to Proverbs. Who, who, who remembers where we left off? Chapter 12. Good job. You get the gold star today. <laughs> remember in school, I remember when I was a kid, there used to be report cards and then yeah. they used to put the little stars. Oh, remember them? <laughs> I didn't get very many of them. <laughs> I had a table. I had to get my own. I used to put them on there myself. He said he'd give me one. I used to put it right over the E. School wasn't my favorite. <laughs> But I remember the gold star. I remember. <laughs> All right. Who says we can't enjoy this, right? Yeah. If we can't bring this word into reality today, then we can't use it. This isn't a history book. This is the owner's manual to our lives. You realize, you know what, when I came to Jesus, I, I finally realized it. Jesus gives me a gold star every morning. That's right. Stamps it on my forehead. You are my child, and I see you like Jesus. I'm like, wow. Nobody else sees me that way. I'm going to him more often. I like them gold stars. Sooner or later, if I keep getting them gold stars, I'm going to earn some gold stars. Because I understand what he did for me. Amen. I can start acting that way. But first, my thinking's got to change, and that takes some time. Just think of how many times, how long your thoughts have been in the world system, and how long it's going to take to empty that. People think they can get spiritual overnight, like instant spirituality. Poof, you're delivered. Yeah, right. I've yet to see it. God doesn't teach us that way. All right, look at 12. Look at uh, everybody there? Yeah. All right, let's go to verse 1. Let's do Proverbs 12 tonight. To learn, you must love discipline. Wow. Do you want to learn? Do you love discipline? Do you love to get corrected? Well, to learn something, you must love it. It's stupid to hate correction. I didn't say it. The Bible did. Jesus said it. If you hate somebody that corrects you, it tells you 
What does it say? It's stupid. You should take things constructively, especially if it's somebody with character. Instead of what? Hissing at them and, and finding out what saying something bad about them. What about you? I mean, I'm a work in progress on that. But I tell you what, I ain't all I ought to be, but I definitely ain't who I used to be. I won't listen to her at all before. You say the wrong thing, it's on. Yep. And it's not not just with this up here. I'm already plotting. Yep. I'm gonna get you back. Now I just say, I'm just gonna leave it in God's hands because I can't. I got too much I can't handle it. Because that only brings turns me into a hater. Mm -hmm. yeah. Turns yeah. me into a hater. There's, there's times when people can't just wait for something bad to happen to somebody that did bad to them. That's called malice, and God hates that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, they're going to get theirs, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. God hates Watch out, God will turn around and give it to you. That's right. Yeah. And that's what the Bible says. Yeah. Yeah. And you look at your life and say, where am I at today? Is it because of my bad decision or it's really in my heart? Or is God just training me for something better? Yeah. Take a evaluate yourself, where you really are in your life. Am I like that? Am I a hater? Am I always trying to get even? Am I keeping score? Is that why I'm not getting blessed? Mm. Or are you going to complain, God, why aren't you blessing me? I go to Bible study. He doesn't bless you because you come to Bible study. He blesses you because you act in the ways he wants you to act. Amen. And be forgiving and loving and caring. Amen. That's when he blesses you. Mm -hmm. People would rather get blessed by throwing a couple hundred in the basket, going to church a couple times, and still living like the devil. It don't work that way. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can't buy your way in. No. Sorry. Although some religions will tell you you can. Mm. Yeah, right. Stay away from them. If you're smart. You'll stay away from any religion that tells you you can buy a ticket into heaven. Yeah. All right, now look what it says. The Lord approves of those who are good, but he condemns those who plan wickedness. <coughs> wickedness never brings stability. What is, the Bible talks about wickedness. People think that that's like, oh, they must be really wicked. No, anything that goes against God's will is wicked. We're all wicked. The Bible doesn't cut through the any doesn't hold any punches on its people. But the godly have look what it says. But he condemned that wickedness never brings stability, but the godly have what? Deep roots. What are you deep rooted in? The word of God. Amen. Trusting in God. Amen. A worthy wife is a crown for her husband. <laughs> <laughs> But a disgraceful woman is like cancer in his bones. Wow. I'm not, I'm just reading what the word says. Look, you, you figure out your own heart. Are you, are you a disgrace to your husband? Or are you a blessing? <laughs> don't, an don't answer that. You just look into it. The Bible says it right here. Look, I'm going to go back to verse 4. Don't throw anything at me. <laughs> A worthy wife is a crown for her husband. Her husband is what? So they love being with them because they're so, it's like a, a friend. God says, it's not good for a man to be alone. He's gonna, the woman is to help me. Enhances his life. It's not like, what does it say? A disgraceful woman's like cancer in his bones. It's like, oh man, I can't wait to go to work. <laughs> It's the truth. Look, 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 the Bible doesn't play any games. Are you like that? Or are you a blessing to your mate, your husband? Are you a blessing to him? You enhance his life. If not, that's okay. God will turn you around. Because now you're a Christian, you got a shot at it. Other than that, you had no shot at it. The plans of the godly are just. The advice of the wicked is treacherous. You don't want to take advice from ungodly people because they will tell you what your itchy ears want to hear. You know, most of the time, even Christians will do this. 
They'll go seek outside advice because they don't want to hear the truth that a Christian will tell them. They'll go to a counselor or something worldly instead because they don't want the raw truth of God. Now look what it says. The words of the wicked are like a murderous ambush, but the words of the godly save lives. You see what it says here? Mm -hmm. Wait, the people out there will say, oh, you shouldn't take that from anybody. You should just do something and you, no, don't let anybody take advantage of you. But it says right here, the words of the godly save life. You just hang in there, brother. You let God do the work. Pray for them. Mm -hmm. Things will happen for you. That's godly advice, not like get them back, run them over, or have a hitman get them. <laughs> <Right. Yeah. laughs> I didn't touch them. <laughs> like God don't know what's in your heart. You know what I'm saying? People, not even Christians, sorry. That's because why? They're uneducated and they're unchanged. They're unrepentant. They come to God and they just want a free ticket into heaven and they just want to live like the devil for the rest of their life. No, no effect. No, no testimony. No, no grace. No humility. No nothing. It's like a stench in God's nostrils. He's saying, what, what, do you, what, do, what do you think I saved you for? So you could just be the creep that you came to me with? <laughs> As no, he says, I'm going to make you a new creature. We're God's masterpiece. He created us anew in Christ Jesus. If you're not in Christ Jesus, you're in yourself. You're still that wretch. Because God even says it. He says, all your righteousness is like filthy rags to me. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. I love God's word. Because it hits us right between the eyes, doesn't it? Yeah. The wicked die and disappear, but the family of the godly stands firm. Excuse me? Somebody talking? Be respectful. Now look what it says. A sensible person wins admiration, but a warped mind is despised. Better to be an ordinary person with a servant than a, to be self-important but have no food. The godly care for their animals, but the wicked are always cruel. Oh, there's people that are really cruel to animals. You know, those are God's creatures. There's actually people that will actually, you know, try to run something over. Let me tell you something. You have to answer for that. That's right. A hard worker has plenty of food. Yeah. But a person who chases fantasies has no sense. Thieves are jealous of each other's loot. But the godly are well rooted and bear their own fruit. Mm -hmm. Somebody that's godly takes care of themselves and their family. They don't, they're not a burden on other people. You see it? It says it right here. The godly are well rooted and bear their own fruit. Look, you don't have to, listen, when you're godly and doing the right thing and working hard, you don't have to be a burden to anybody because when you're carrying yourself, The wicked are trapped by their own words, but the godly escape such trouble. Boy, I'd rather be on the godly side, no? Yeah. <clears throat> Wise words bring many benefits, and hard work brings rewards. Here it is. Look at verse 15. This is something for all, all of us. Fools think that their own way is right. You know when somebody always said to tell you, I'm, I'm right. Mm -hmm. What I might think is right and my way of living is right. I, I'm right. Yeah. Everybody else is wrong. Look what the Bible says. Fools think their own way is right. You're a fool if you think that your, ways are, your thoughts are right. Look at it. But the wise listen to others. The Bible tells us to always be open-minded to what people are saying. Amen. Uh, always be open-minded. Amen. A fool is quick-tempered. I'll tell you what, I've been a fool a lot. 
with my quick tempo. It got me in a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. But a wise person, listen, stays calm when insulted. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I like that one. You know what, I'm going to read that tomorrow morning when I get up so I can, mm -hmm. I can practice it. You see, the Bible gives us something, right? It jumps off the page. You say, you know what, tomorrow, I'm going to stay calm when I get insulted. You have to practice that. That's not something that's going to come natural. But you know it now that it's coming to light. You can say, you know what, I'm going to go there with this. I'm going to practice it. I'm going to get up tomorrow, represent Jesus, go to work for Jesus, and I'm going to be wise and stay calm when insulted because i got the power of Jesus behind me. And he's going to give me the power to do it. Amen. You have to willfully do that, though. Yeah. Because now when it comes to light, you can't say, well, I, I, I couldn't do it. Oh, no, it says you can. Yes. Do you consider yourself wise? A lot of people do. Can you be like that, then? Well, I'm not so wise. <laughs> An honest witness tells the truth. A false witness tells lies. Mm -hmm. Some people make cutting remarks, but the words of the wise bring healing. Truthful words stand the test of time. But lies are soon exposed. Mm -hmm. They are. Because, you know, when you lie about something, you realize you have to keep that lie going. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, it will catch up to you and you'll, it'll end up coming out. Because you have to hold on to that lie. You know it's a lie. Oof. Better just get it out. Forget it. That's too much work. <laughs> No, it isn't. Yeah. You're holding on to your lies. Yeah. And every time you do it, you get convicted even more. Yeah. It makes you sick. <laughs> you tell somebody, oh, I'm not a liar. <laughs> no, we're born liars. Sorry. <laughs> somebody say, well, it's just a little white, white lie. I don't find no. Where's the white lie? Lie is a lie. Where's the white lie? Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's human. That's you know what that is? That's justifiable humanity. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. I just did that a little white line, but that's okay because it's only a white one. It wasn't a black one. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a dark one. It was a white line. It's the world line. <laughs> now look what it says in verse 20. The sea fills hearts that are plotting evil. Joy fills hearts that are planning peace. You see it? Are you a peacemaker or a peace taker? There's people that all they do is steal people's peace. They bring their life into their life, their misery right into their life, and make them all miserable. Instead of saying, hey, you know what, things ain't going my way, but guess what, I'm still alive and breathing, and God's got a plan for me. Thank you, Jesus. It doesn't look like anybody's suffering lack in here. That's for sure. Now look what it says. No harm comes to the godly, but the wicked have their fill of trouble. <coughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. See, if you're not living godly, you say, well, how come harm's still coming to me? Well, I came to God. No, you came to God, but you're not living godly. You're not living his way. So don't think that it's going to come. It doesn't work that way. Now look what it says in verse 22. The Lord detests lying lips. Only the bad ones, the lies. Only the white ones are all right. <laughs> no. But he delights in the, those who tell the truth. The wise don't make show of their knowledge. There's people that got to tell everybody how good they are and what they know. they got to let everybody know. Look. The wise, if you're wise, you won't make show of your knowledge. But fools broadcast their foolishness. Work hard and become a leader. Be lazy and become a slave. Look at this one. Worry weighs a person down. Tell me about it. When you ever worry about something, it's so heavy. 
It consumes you all day long. It doesn't even matter. You're working, at home. It's always filling you. It's like, it's like dragging you down. And it does. An encouraging word cheers a person off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, you tell somebody, hey, you know, you look good today. Mm -hmm. they, it lifts them up. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, right? So the next time you want to tell somebody something bad, say something good. Mm -hmm. see, how fast, see how fast that'll diffuse it. <coughs> say something godly to the ungodly, and you'll see the difference. Mm -hmm. Amen. If somebody's picking on you or saying something, that shit looks good on you. That's lying, then. How do you know it might? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying just say that. That's just an example. Right? It's just an example. Find something good. <laughs> because I'll tell you, there's people who do a lot of good. And people don't recognize it because they're always thinking that they're doing something bad. Because they got the same mind as them. You think everybody thinks like you do. Yeah. But, of course, I'm right. Whatever I think is right, everybody else is wrong. You didn't know that? Yeah. I'm right. You're wrong. And I'm going to prove it. I, I, I can't even be near people like that. Yeah. Their way of thinking is right. Their system is right. Everything's right. No, the only thing that's right is God's system. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now look what it says. The godly give good advice to their friends. The wicked lead them astray. <sighs> Somebody that's not following God and His Word will lead people astray. Lazy people don't even cook the game they catch. <clears throat> <clears throat> but the diligent make use of everything they find. The way of the God that <clears throat> leads to life, that path does not lead to death. So if you're on the path of doing the right thing, don't worry, it leads to life. Although it might not feel like it's leading to life, it will eventually bring life. See, this is what's wrong with it. You get on this godly path and the devil tries to get you off saying, what's so good about it? It's harder. No, eventually you'll break through and get it. You'll get to the top of the mountain. Amen. But no, people turn around and go back into the world and their way of thinking, their system, their way of thinking, everything's the right way. I'm going to go back this way because my way is better than God's. Like, Father, don't know best. That's an ouch, right? God knows better. You really think in that pea brain that we have, that we really have more knowledge than God? No. Go out there and make some of them stars up there. Go ahead and put them all in place. Add some planets. Make them all nice and nice. Right. Well, you're going to make one in a, in a model at home. No, he holds all creation together. Don't you think he knows more than you? Amen. When we go in the Bible and say, well, I don't think. No, God, that can't. God. No, yeah, no, that is right. You're wrong. Everything in this word is right in your role. Amen. Can you say amen or ouch to that one? Amen. I, can't, I don't really think, uh, I don't really know about all this stuff in the Old Testament. I, I don't know. Oh, really? God, it's recorded and it's true. God is not a man that he should lie. 